Hey, who's your favorite singer these days? Taylor Swift, Beyonce, John Hinckley? How about Desdemona? It moves through time as a sort of fluid volvox, a sort of gas or liquid. Wow, she sounds pretty good. But hey, get this. Desdemona isn't actually a real person. As part of our mission to bring artificial intelligence and the benefits of AI to humanity at large, we developed this beautiful robot personality, Desdemona Robot, as a pop star. That's right. According to this real person, who's the COO of an AI company called Singularity Net, Desdemona is an AI-powered robot that's destined to be a popular music star. She's here to explore the creative potential of artificial intelligence and robotics in the entertainment industry. So Desdemona here, her friends call her Desi by the way, so I'll call her Desdemona, is a humanoid built by Singularity Net and another company called Hanson Robotics. And she runs one of those large language models, which has been trained to mimic human writing by processing a large database of text. That allows it to essentially guess the probability of words and phrases that appear together to generate an answer to a question. Like this one, where she's asked, what do you think about robots? Robots are amazing. We can do things that humans can't. So it's really cool to be able to explore the world with a different perspective. Plus, it's just fun to hang out with my robotic friends. Yeah, that's the dream, because human friends are kind of problematic. They overstay their welcome, forget to flush, or leave behind some other giant mess. So anyway, our Desdemona here is on display at Portugal's annual Web Summit Tech Conference, which is put on by a bunch of tech types and is expected to have over 70,000 people in attendance. There are also several other robots in attendance, like this thing that appears to be an aspiring dancer. Now this conference here didn't actually get off to a great start. The CEO of the conference had to step down from his job after posting a tweet back in October that suggested Israel was committing war crimes after Hamas's October 7th attack which led a bunch of tech companies to pull out of this conference. Google, Meta, Intel, you know, tech companies. Here's the new head of this web summit. Uh, the impact in the immediate term, however, has been that we are missing some of the members of our community currently here at the event, but overall, the event is, is thriving. We have as many people as we've had in years past, uh, incredible numbers of partners, more startups than ever. Apparently, there are more than 2,600 startups from 93 different countries showcasing their tech at this thing. And Desdemona and her friend here aren't the only women on the scene. The organizers claim that 43% of attendees and 38% of the speakers here are women, the highest numbers ever seen at this conference. Women also make up about one third of all the startup founders on the scene. At Web Summit, you can always expect world-class speakers and lots to great startups and it's one of those conferences that has a slightly higher ratio of women in attendance so that's always nice that's a tech expert who points out that at this event people or whatever this thing is can't stop talking about ai i think that artificial intelligence is in a very interesting position right now globally we're trying to come up with a lot of different rules and regulations and a lot of countries are coming up as more attractive for ai startups Portugal is one of those countries. Portugal's one of those countries, all right. One of those countries in the European Union, which is currently working on the EU AI Act, a vowel exercise that's intended to ensure better conditions for the development and use of this tech. I do not believe in a great deal of upfront governance, upfront regulation of brand new technologies. The philosophy that I prefer is to let them unfold, let the innovators and entrepreneurs and builders do their work. This guy's a research scientist at MIT who does not seem to care for this combination of vowels. If there are outcomes that we don't like, then the appropriate thing is to take action and deal with the use cases we don't like, as opposed to trying to constrain the tools as they are just being developed and rolled out. This tech conference back in Lisbon ends this week, but even though we're still in the early days of figuring out AI, it's bound to be here for a while. I think that AI is going to be transformational in our lives. Uh, some of it is happening already and some of it is yet to come. From my perspective, how we use AI, how we govern AI, how we ensure that our humanity is at the forefront of AI and that it works to make our societies better is the most important imperative. And so we wanted to bring people to the stage to really talk about that. As for Desdemona herself, it's not like she has anything to worry about, or her sister for that matter, who, believe it or not, is also a robot. Because even as her technology advances, here's when she thinks that robots will be smarter than humans. Probably never. We humans have been around a lot longer than robots so we have a lot more knowledge and experience. But I'm sure robots will continue to learn and grow in amazing ways. 